Good morning, good afternoon and evening to everyone around the world who is joining us for this webinar on street lighting for smart cities, winds and trends. My name is Barbara Chrysler and I will be moderating this webinar today. This webinar is organized by the Signify Lighting Academy, which is the educational academy of Signify, and you will you find a whole lot of educational resources on the Signify Lighting Academy platform. So I do encourage you to go and check it out because there's a lot of really interesting and useful material and resources on there. Signify, of course, is the world leader in lighting system software and services, and um, I'm also particularly proud uh, that we have this year uh, in September managed to become carbon neutral in all our operations worldwide as the first lighting company. In this webinar, you're going to hear from three top-notch speakers about uh, street lighting and smart cities, and I'm really excited um, to uh, have uh, with us today uh, Eric Wood from uh, Guidehouse, um, who is going to present um, the latest findings of a smart uh, street lighting report that the Guidehouse Inside Leaderboard uh, has published. Uh, we are also going to hear from Kevin Lutheran from the New York Power Authority about the very successful a street lighting conversion project in the state of New York. And last but not least, we are going to hear from Yong Liang Eng from Signify, who is going to tell us more about connected street lighting and how it can be a backbone for further uh, smart city aspirations. Three, that a smart city is a city that is able to transform data into information uh, to make smarter, better decisions for the service of, uh, of their citizens. Um, it is now my great pleasure to introduce to you um, the panel speakers, and I'm going to start off with our first speaker, Eric. Uh, Eric is the research director at Guidehouse and heads the Guidehouse Inside Leaderboard uh, coverage of smart cities. The virtual floor is yours. Thank you, Barbara. What I want to as you say, is talk a little bit about the findings from our most recent research around smart street lighting and also put into context um, some of the developments we're seeing, both in terms of lighting innovation itself, but also the smart city movement uh, and also shifting city priorities. You've already touched on, of course, the, the huge impact that we've seen from the coronavirus uh, pandemic on cities in 2020. And that has uh, caused both a short term and uh, I think we are starting to see a long term shift in the way cities look at their key priorities and what they need to achieve. In terms of the short term, we've seen them reacting in terms of uh, the need to deliver new types of health and safety systems, but also thinking about the long term management of their cities under new constraints, whether that's around transit, hospitality, retail, access to services, social care and so forth. Um, but also thinking about the economic impacts and how they get over both the immediate uh, hit uh, in terms of the, the functioning of the city's businesses, but also in terms of how they will build back better. So these have been the existential priorities cities have faced in 2020 around health, economy, safety. I think this is now actually a perfect handover to our next speaker, uh, Kevin. Uh, Kevin is the program manager for Smart Street, uh, Smart Street Lighting New York at the New York Power Authority, and he oversees the program and the goal to convert half a million of street lights to LED technology by 2025. Kevin, the floor is yours. Great. Thanks, Barbara. And um, like she mentioned, I'm the program manager for Smart Street Lighting New York. Really, uh, behind the Power Authority, we're a state agency that helps to implement sustainability projects and things like that. And I'm just really excited to share with you our experience and, you know, some of the lessons learned we may have learned the hard way um, in developing this program over the past two years. But just real quick before we get into the program, who NIPA is, also 
known as the New York Power Authority. Our core business is actually power generation, and we own several hydro power plants and natural gas power plants and provide about 20 percent of New York's um, electricity. We also own a third of New York's transmission lines across the entire state, and we're able to provide this clean power um, through our different power plants and things like that. But as part of that business, we also have a clean energy service co- um, division where we're able to help implement, you know, EV charging stations, building auditing, and other different programs such as Smart Street Lighting in New York, which really is what brings us here today.